along the ring of fire that are pointing to a potential catastrophe in our near future. Considering recent events including three devastating Atlantic hurricanes, destructive earthquakes in Mexico, and the apocalyptic wildfires that are sweeping through the western United States, it would be prudent for the common person to establish basic provisions in the hope of surviving these natural disasters. Earth is evolving, but the major events of recent weeks provide some clues to the changes across our planet and the dangers that each event poses to our safety and our well-being. Right now, all eyes are focused on the Pacific Ring of Fire as there is a growing list of volcanic eruptions and uh, tectonic tremors that are happening across this region. For those not too familiar with this region of the world, the Ring of Fire is a massive circle of volcanoes along the perimeter of the Pacific Ocean Basin. Made up of uh, 452 volcanoes, the Ring of Fire marks the edges of a, a tectonic zone where the Pacific Ocean floor rises to form the western edge of North and South America and the islands along the eastern edge of Asia and Australia. It spans nearly 25,000 miles in distance and is the world's primary source of earthquakes and volcanic activity. Here is what we know so far about the potential dangers that are awaiting those who dwell in these areas. An unprecedented eruption of Ambi, an island in the South Pacific nation of Vanuatu, is taking place in the increasingly active eruption of the Manaro volcano as shown in this video clip. On the Indonesian island of Bali, 144,000 people have been taken to shelters after a code red alert was implemented for Mount Agung, where an explosive eruption is imminent. In North America, two horrendous earthquakes in Mexico in September have caused widespread destruction and mounting fear of more earth-shattering events to come. In the wake of the devastating earthquakes in Mexico City and in the Central Valley, the volcanic activity at the nearby Papacatapeto volcano has increased significantly. A number of other volcanoes have also sprung to life, such as in Costa Rica and in Japan.
Swarms of earthquakes have been detected at Yellowstone, numbering more than 2,300 since June. The last of volcanic eruption in this region was 70,000 years ago. There are reports surfacing that NASA plans to drill into the supervolcano to release heat that is building up around the caldera. But such a project is very dangerous as it could trigger an eruption with dire consequences. Not far from Yellowstone, the state of Idaho has experienced a series of earthquakes and tremors since September 2nd when a magnitude 5.3 earthquake hit near Soda Springs, which was felt as far away as Salt Lake City. Within the past year, Idaho, which is rarely associated with earthquakes, has been jolted by over 300 of them, raising serious concerns that the intense seismic activity could lead to the possibility of an eruption of the supervolcano. Particular interest has been placed along the Cascadia subduction zone, which is capable of producing a megathrust earthquake of magnitude 9 or higher along Washington State, Oregon, and British Columbia. Megathrust earthquakes occur when enough energy has accumulated in the locked zone of the fault to cause a rupture known as a megathrust earthquake. The magnitude of this type of earthquake is proportional to the length of the rupture along the fault. The Cascadia subduction zone, which forms the boundary between the Juan de Fuca and the North American plates, is a very long sloping fault that stretches from mid-Vancouver Island to Northern California. Scientists have discovered that major earthquakes happen here on average about every 240 years. The last major Cascadia earthquake was 315 years ago. One of the most dangerous volcanoes is the Popocatapetl volcano, which has entered a phase of increasing volcanic activity. After nine explosions on September 28th, the Popocatapetl volcano erupted again six times on September 29th and three times on September 30th. This chart shows the current volcanic phase of the Popocatapetl volcano, with 18 explosions in the last three days. Here is a video showing the explosion that occurred on September 30th. Officials are quick to note that they believe that there is no direct link between the 7.1 earthquake on September 19th and the current eruptions of the volcano. But the validity of their statement is one that is questionable at the very least. The volcanic unrest is increasing around the world as noted by Volcano Discovery a series of 600 low-frequency tremors not seen in many years, which are associated with fluids inside the volcanic system, is striking under the Lama volcano since the 1st of October. While in Peru,